Hey guys, I'm back and my name is Osama. I have a background in nuclear engineering. And today I wanna to share this really cool ring that I got last week. It's called the zirconium ring. And I wanna give you a close up. Hopefully you can see this, okay? And it's a, it's a dark metal. It's made out of zirconium, uh, which has slits and uh, it fits perfectly into my pinky right here. And what is zirconium and what, what's the, why am I getting this ring and why am I talking about it? Well, it's it's a ring that's given to every graduate out of the nuclear engineering program at Ontario Tech, the only undergraduate program of its kind in the entire country, okay? And why zirconium? It's a metal that's used in all nuclear power plants, okay? It's, it's everything from the pressure vessel to the pressure tubes to actually the fuel and this is made out of the the fuel bundles okay they cut them and they size them and that's where uranium sits usually and i'm really happy to have this on my finger and why zirconium why is this metal really important um, it's because it's invisible to neutrons it has a very uh, low uh, absorption cross section for thermal neutrons meaning neutrons can just go through this um, it's also very ductile, strong, uh, it's heat resistant, it's corrosion resistant, so it's a great material. Um, and it's also biocompatible, it's utilized in many, many surgical procedures and knees and whatnot. So what took me, let's talk a bit about how I feel. Um, well, I, I feel like reflecting back on this mission that I took on uh, of this program, the dedication, the hard work, the consistency, the time, the resolve, the the belief that I had in myself, it, it was all a combination of these things that led me to that finish line. And I'm really happy, I'm really proud of myself, and I'm really grateful. Uh, and I just wanna share uh, some of these experiences with you guys and reflect back. Start off with the beginning. Nuclear engineering, uh, would I, did I think that I would even become an engineer or, a, you know, approach this field of nuclear? Not at all, actually. Since the age of three, I really wanted to be a doctor, okay? Uh, my family's from a city called Karachi, which has a handful of medical schools and any kid from Karachi, your parents probably have pushed you toward that stream. Uh, so I, I, I really wanted to be a doctor because that was my parents' dream of me being a doctor. And, uh, and I wanted that dream as well. I wanted to help people, I wanted to save lives. And it wasn't until university where I took biology and biology really crushed me. Um, it, 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 it made me realize that, hey, listen, like I was not passionate about memorizing things, okay? Simply, I wanted, I love science, I love mathematics, but I loved the application of those mathematics and principles into real life projects, into things that move. And that's what really fascinated me. So here I was loving physics, loving chemistry and mathematics. And I knew nuclear science was a lot of physics. So what I did was I enrolled in the Ontario Tech undergraduate program the only nuclear engineering program in all of Canada. I took that leap of faith and uh, and here I am. I, I graduated, I got my zirconium ring now. And my intention of helping people uh, from, from back in the day when I was a kid, it's still there. And I, and I know that producing clean energy through nuclear not only saves individual lives, you know, those that energy is being there to power hospitals, being there to power schools and uh, keeping your food nice and refrigerated uh, off those energy consuming refrigerators, but also it's it's helping the entire planet. It's helping animal species survive. And um, that's what engineers do. They, they, create, they create innovative solutions to real life problems. So I'm really happy to be a member of this community, the nuclear community and to to wrap this ring it's it's really it makes me happy um it's kind of like uh doctors they have those uh i don't know what those calls the, the thing that they check the heartbeat with so it's similar to that 
Now let's reflect back to 2014 where I just entered the nuclear engineering program and every year just that insane amount of work, that grueling time spent in the library and you know venting out my frustration at the gym of, of all of these very difficult courses and every year I grew out of my comfort zone. Every year I could see immediate change uh, in my ways of thinking, in you know, just my identity just changed year by year. Um, and there were obstacles, right? Like I, in high school, I never, you know, I sucked at doing exams, but when it came time to fourth year, I was just, or even by second year, I was just so used to doing exams. Um, and also my career, uh, I think, uh, those four years studying and those two years on different co-ops was really worth it. I got the chance to work for the nuclear utility, Ontario Power Generation. I got a chance to work for a vendor um, selling, you know, in sales, uh, nuclear sales, which is a very interesting, you know, application engineering. And I also got the chance to work for an international company, Framatome, French nuclear company. So I'm really, really uh, happy that I got the chance to not only pursue those careers, but also travel a lot. You know, I, I did, I started off with a co-op near Mississauga, so I got to live at home, got that taste of that experience. Then I moved to Darlington, which is Oshawa, and then I moved to the Bruce. So it was, it was amazing. I got a chance to fit myself in different, different areas and get to experience life, make money and just, um, and just, I'm just so happy for that experience and that internship program. So thank you. Um, also, let's start off with a specialized knowledge. Let's, let's also add this specialized knowledge. You know, I'm an asset to the industry now. I have that specialized knowledge of nuclear, uh, from, from that university. And you know, what's interesting is that in nuclear science, if you look up something, if you Google something, more chances than not, you will never find it. And the reason why is because these things you can't Google, you can't Wikipedia. It's it's very difficult to find out certain parts of the certain, you know, of a unique reactor uh, looking that up. Uh, it's not it's not something that people have knowledge of, of, or even you could easily find on the World Wide Web. So I'm really happy to have that knowledge and I wanna make that knowledge available for, for people eventually, for, for the vast public, because I think it's it's really important for, for people to know about nuclear engineering and nuclear science. Now, now let's get into uh, gratitude. I'm, I'm really grateful uh, for this experience. I wanna start off by um, by thanking my parents, um, you know, my father, who, who is a self-made man. Uh, you know, he went through many hardships and he, he actually got his education from uh, you know, his education in STEM really pushed me toward pursuing a career in STEM, right? Um, so he's been an inspiration for me since day one, really hardworking, and uh, I want to thank him. And also my mom, who's been a supporter of me since day one, you know, working hard to, uh, to teach me, you know, division every single year, right? <laughs> and, um, just just being always there for, for me for support so i just want to thank her and also my grandparents i think uh without them without them supporting my parents and if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be here in canada so i think i just am so grateful for not only the opportunity to learn um and get this degree but to just understand that this was a privilege right like this was something that not not everyone has the opportunity to to do right across the world, and I've been really lucky to have had kind of the stars align, being you know being in that position to actually have the ability you know take out that time to learn uh, to to learn and uh, get my uh, undergraduate degree. So. I'm, I'm really grateful for, for that opportunity and just want to take this time to reflect back to my childhood, uh, to the obstacles that I faced in university, um, pa passing them, 
um, and just coming out stronger and just pushing myself through and getting into this new career in the, into this industry and integrating myself into something that's greater than oneself that's um, something that can really change the world so thank you so much you won't unfortunately see me wearing this ring too often i just don't wear jewelry so um it's, it's here uh it's probably gonna be with my mom you know somewhere um so just just wanna create this video and put these uh put my thoughts out there so thank you so much for watching if you had any questions please post them in the questions below and um yeah hope you have a nice day bye